Welcome again to one section of the Rangeland CDE, and this is the plant identification section. Plant ID is really important for a range conservationist or for anyone who wants to do work on rangelands, because I don't care if you're interested in fire or if you're interested in wildlife habitat or cattle, or if you want to do restoration on a site or even recreation, you got to know the plants. The plants are what tell you what's going on out here, what condition it's in, how much it could handle. So we, that's how we read the land, is by learning plants. And any good range manager who's worth their salt is gonna know the plants. So on this event, we have 75 plants that you need to learn. They're listed on the bottom of the scorecard. What you're gonna have to do is to identify them. So you're gonna look at plants. We've, we'll mark them off in a row with blue flags like this. You see those blue flags are kind of going up the hillside there. And uh, we'll walk you through what it looks like close up. All you're going to walk do is walk in a line at the beginning of this line. There's going to be a poster that says plant ID. Then just go plant to plant to plant. Write down the name. Tell us whether it's a grass, forb, or woody plant. That's really important because if you know which grasses and forbs and woody plants are out here, that tells you what kind of wildlife might use the site. It would tell you what the fire regime might be like. And it would tell you how close it is to kind of its absolute best or what you desire on the site. So you got to know that. The next is the life stage. Is it annual or perennial? Most range plants are perennial because that's what range is. It's a, it's a, a, a type of land that is um, clothed with perennial plants. But there's some annuals like cheatgrass, and you have to know the difference between those because if you're managing perennial plants, every year that plant is going to come back. It's perennial. Some of these plants behind us, they live hundreds of years. So you don't have to worry so much about the seed because the plant just has to reproduce once every few decades, however long it lives. So these plants are actually pretty old. They die back to the ground every year, but they come up. The woody plants, of course, keep their woody fingers up there through the winter. Annuals, it's all about seeds. The annual plant is not going to come back again unless it has seeds. So you need to recognize plants that are annual or perennial. You also need to know if they're native or introduced, and that is just something you have to memorize. The plant cannot tell you that. You cannot look at a plant and say it's native or introduced. You just got to know it. The next is what is the forage value for grazers and browsers? And again, it's, it's something you need to memorize, but at the end of this uh, video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to learn about that. The other thing you need to know is if plants are toxic, because one of the biggest challenges for both wildlife and livestock is eating plants that are toxic. Believe it or not, most of the plants out here have some toxin in them. Most are not let, most are not deadly, but some are. So you got to know that. All right. So um, I'm gonna we're gonna uh, Katie's gonna walk through this kind of 25 plants, and we're gonna show you what they look like close up. And I'm gonna explain to you today how to do the CDE. First of all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get down and take a close look at the plant, but you're not allowed to touch it. You're able to touch if you think there's another um, type of plant around here that's similar. You can um, touch those, but you're not allowed to touch the main plant. Next, I'm going to look at my different names of plants, and I'm going to mark down for the first one the plant identification. Following that, I'll do the growth form with the lifespan. Then I'll move into the origin, which goes into the forage value, which is for grazers or for browsers. Then I'll look at the plant and see if I see any toxic traits in it. Moving to the next one. For this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get down, I can't touch it, but I'm gonna look at the different seedings on the top and the bottom of the leaves. And then I'm gonna write it down on my scorecard for the identification, following the growth form, lifespan, origin, with the forage values and toxic like I explained earlier. And make sure as you're walking up the hill that you look at the different numbers and make sure they're all in numerical order. So this one I'll get down again, get close, not touch it, but I'll look at the different leaves and the different sprouts that go in the bottom of it. 
and then I'll write down the identification on my scorecard. All right, so this is number four. I'll get down, get close, look at the different seeds, but keep a distance so I don't touch it. And I'll look around, see if there's any more similarities. And then I'll write the identification on my card. And then for the last one, this is number five. This one I'll get down close and I'll look at the different grassings or seeds on the top. And I'll kind of get a look and then I'll write it down on my identification card. <laughs> 